Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Frank? I'm here. Yeah, you are. I'm here. I'm not wearing a baby blue sweater uh, that says Mad Happy and has teeth on the hood. Is that what that, those are? What? Why are those teeth? Thread. It's not teeth. Oh, it's the actual thread in the hoodie. You Can thought, I ask you? Did you think it was teeth? I thought it was like a design thing, like you're mad happy and it's a shark or something. Okay. Um, you, you wear these these outrageous clothing choices, and I don't know all of them. I wear. You're gonna you're gonna point the finger at me and say I wear outrageous clothing choices. I, I would say that you wear t-shirts that a seven year old would wear, but you just wear them in an adult size. You wear very like Soho chic clothing, where it'll be a big giant sweatshirt that in the middle just has like the word like squish or some <laughs> stupid shit. <laughs> So don't you dare. And I'll be like, yo, where'd you get that sweater? And you'll be like, yo, I paid like 130 bucks for it. And I'd be like, that's fucking ridiculous. Squish. That, that's something that you would do. Tell me I'm wrong. I love that. Tell me I'm wrong. You are wrong. No, you're right. Thank you. Yeah. Where'd you get that from? That's pretty cool. Um, this is the name of the company. Oh, Mad Happy. Yeah. That was a free, free plug right there. Uh, yeah. I mean, it wasn't. It. I was just going to wear it, but now. Now you in the, yeah. How yeah. you doing? I'm pretty good. Yeah. Well, we have a weekend coming up. We have it's the beginning. People will say it's Memorial Day weekend is the beginning of the summer. Oh uh, yeah, or a, a certain season of the year. And um, we've had a couple seasons through our our lifetime. People, sa savage season. Right. We have savage season. You know, winter, summer, spring, autumn, that kind of thing. None fall. Of, they all pale in comparison to the season that is. That's dog sucking season. It's fucking baby. dog sucking season right we, now. We we need to rewrite the narrative because by the way, hot dogs, not gay. People people rewrote the narrative. <laughs> I, thought just, I was like, no, hot dogs. I thought you were it was like not gay. I was like, I'm not saying it's gay. I'm saying I know we're people, talking about eating hot dogs. Yeah, there are people out there, particularly uh, men mm -hmm. of a certain age bracket. I would say like the 16 to like 22. That yeah. are so not confident in themselves and their sexuality that they have just deemed eating hot dogs as gay. Yeah. And I'll tell you this. If eating hot dogs is gay, I'm fucking gay. I'm Clay Aiken, dude. Yeah, dude. I am. Who's the gayest person ever? Neil Patrick Harris. No. You, you think there's gayer than him? He, Nathan Lane. He's fucking gay. Yeah, I like Nathan Lane a lot. The Birdcage? What a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But it is dog sucking season, <sighs> and I'm going to fucking... Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking do it. Walk me through your perfect dog. Are you a Can't classic? Even do that. Are you a classic American boy? You're just good with just ketchup. Yeah. I, I I am, but like also if there's yo like yo you put some like ch chili on this thing. Ooh. <laughs> I, I I'll be honest with you right now. Like I, I I'm not even kidding. I got so amped up just now thinking about putting chili on a, a hot dog. Like I thought about like. I don't know why this is where my mind went, but I was like, if I have to hit my mom as hard as I can, why? I will do it. Also, I broke my mom's toe recently. Was it for a dog? No, no, no. I, no, I just did it for free. You, so you've broken... I stepped on her toe. You've broken your mother's ribs? Yeah, I broke a rib. You, you've broken your mother's toe? Yeah. And... No, I no, mean, and. Keep, keep doing this, this, this show. You'll break her heart pretty yeah, soon. Yeah, no, I've done that too in the past for <laughs> sure. Um, but yeah, I stepped on her toe and I broke that shit. But, uh, well, I don't know if it's broken. I think it's maybe it's just like a contusion, but whatever. The bitch is hurting. She was, she was hobbling around the Did last time. Did your mom got hollow bones like a canary? Dude, she's an old, fragile Irish woman. And this, if the sun doesn't get her, you're, you fucking stepping on her or bumping into her is going to get mean, her. I mean, yeah, she bruises like a peach. Apparently. Too windy. She's just bruised from the wind. Is she okay? I, I feel bad. And your mom's not old. Your mom is what, 60? Si what? She's almost 70. Well, she, no, she's 66, 7. What year was she born? She's 65. 60, no, she's 60. She just turned 67. Wow, I didn't know that. 66? That, damn, those. I didn't know this. I, I thought yeah. your mom was a spring chicken. But you know what? Age? How, mentality. Wait, how old is your mom? My mom is 59. Oh, no, man. My mom is fucking... She's mad wise. She's, she's smarter than your mom. Your mom is probably smarter than my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I'll say it's no offense, mom, but... Yeah. I, but I think, forget about our moms for a second because... Something else is more important, and that's dog sucking season. Oh, yeah. Which it is. It's dog sucking season. Get out there, suck some dogs. It's going to be Memorial Day weekend. There's going to be hot dogs. There's going to be hamburgers. And I'm not hating on the hamburger because I'll probably fucking suck a couple of those, too. And listen, let me tell you something. I'll, a lot suck, of some, I'll suck some ham. A lot of people are, you know, they're, they're on their, their soapbox and they're like, listen, dog sucking season. I'm not going to eat dogs because beef hot dogs, disgusting. Guess what? They have chicken hot dogs. They do. They got vegan hot dogs. They do. 
I don't care what's in the hot dog. If it's if you call it a, a, a dog, a, a, a cold whatever, yeah. suck that dog down. Yeah, one hundred percent. Throw some. I'm I'm going. Let's listen. I'm going like this. You oh ready? My God, I'm so excited to hear this hot dog. And I want like a big meaty son of a bitch. Yeah, I want a fat fucking. I want a one. ballpark Frank. And I want one that like. You know when you bite into certain hot dogs and it fucking snaps at your teeth? Yeah. <laughs> like you bite it and like the fucking casing is like, pa, and it yeah. hits your fucking teeth. Yeah, I, yeah. I want that. Ooh, I, you I know want what? to be slapped. I might, bring, I might bring specialty hot dogs this weekend just what? to show you a little bitch. What does that mean? The best hot dog I've ever had in my life. I re- it was, it's a brand called Thuman's. Thuman? Dude. What, are they, what is it, like bison? It, it, no, it's just beef, but it's like when, when they get so hot, they like break in the middle. Because oh oh it's good oh and they start opening up and yeah you're like, oh. they're part in the Red Sea the hot dog Red Sea oh yo, you know what actually I hate who do you hate well no I, I well there's a few people okay but like when people like slice their hot dogs down the middle what the fuck are we doing I, you know I I respect the, the I, I don't respect, respect that. that you really you're all against it no and I'll tell you what else is fucking weird about me we're Take, t- since we're talking about ahead. Memorial Day weekend and like all this type of shit bro I don't know why. When I'm eating a hamburger, I don't like my buns toasted. I like I my go, shit to be just like I could bread. Go, I could go either way. I could go either way. I just don't think it's necessary. I, like, I don't dislike way. it, but I'm like... Bro. I'll tell you why I do sometimes toast it. Because I like to load my bitches up. I'm loading my my, my burgs. I'm putting some mayo on there. Pick ketchup. That. Pickles. Yeah. Uh, uh, lettuce. Tomato. Onions. Onion, onion. Yeah. If I really want to deluxe it up. And sometimes... The amount of moisture, because I got juicy burgers, okay? Yeah, yeah, you got to get a juicy loose. It can really, it can affect the, you know, oh, juicy loose. You just said it. Yeah. Fuck. Now I need to make them. Dude, I'm going to eat a lot. The, when you, you, oh my God, you get a patty, and you fucking cut it in half, you put barbecue sauce, you put the other side uh-huh. on it, and then you fucking cook it, and then you bite into it, and it gets all over your shirt. Yeah. Uh, oh, but my hot dog. you going to go inside and change? I'm going ketchup, sauerkraut. Bush's baked beans on top. Let me tell you, that's a fucking meal. That's four quadrants wow, right there. Wow, you're baby. a fan of the bush. You got your protein, your sugar, your dairy. You don't have dairy, but I'll 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 I'll, I'll figure out. I'll dip it in milk. Yeah, wash it down with a cup of milk. Yeah, whatever. I don't give a shit. Oh man, oh, I, I I'm looking. I'm remembering the last time I had a dog, and I'm hungry right now, and I'm so ready. Last time I had a dog, double fisted him in the hot tub in Key West. That's right. At 2 a.m. 2 a.m. <laughs> 2 a.m. We got back to the house. Frank's like, you want a hot dog? I'm like, I'm good. And he ate both of them. Idiot. Yeah, no, honestly. But it wasn't dog sucking season. I'll say that. I will say that. It's tough. When you're in warmer weather, is it ever not dog sucking season? And oh, wow. for all these people that swear that dogs are gay, you were, you were in Key West. If there's ever a dog sucking capital of the U.S. Yeah, it's a gay cap. You know, it's got to be Key West. Yeah, that's true. So, Damn, um, I really dropped the ball there, and I, I apologize for that. Yeah, this is going to be... This but is, it's officially dog sucking season it in is. New York, which is where I'm from, and that's where my body is accustomed to. Uh, well, let so me tell you... thrown off by being in Florida. And, and guess what? We want to... Also, I'll say this. I want to hear from the people that watch the show. If you're having a dog... Let me see that. Let me see that. Dog, yeah, yeah. Bitch. I want to see what kind tag of dog. Tag us in those dogs. Yo, and don't fucking tag me in some stupid hot dog that just has mustard on it, you idiot. Oh, yeah, I mean, listen, Make I. Make the shit fire. I've made it very clear where I stand on mustard. I hate mustard. Um, but I respect the dog too much. You know what I mean? Like, I love people. I hate, you know, stupid people. But at the end of the day, like, I, I respect the dog way, way, way more. I respect the hot dog, yeah. So, you just let us know. There's some there's some iconic dogs out hot there. Hot dogs are better than hamburgers, right? Without a doubt. Yeah, they But are. a good cheeseburger is tough to beat. I do fuck with a cheeseburger. And usually, I'm not going to lie. Because, like, you never make... Yo, who the fuck makes hot dogs without making hamburgers? And if you're doing that, stop doing that shit. Because I'm getting really fucking pissed off. <laughs> Okay. No, but and when someone's like, "Oh, we're making hot dogs and hamburgers," what do you want? What's your order? Oh, I go two hot dogs, one cheeseburger. Really? And if I'm real, if I'm if I've been drinking, I say make a lot. Yeah, yeah. Because I can. If I'm drinking, my my stomach knows no bounds. Yeah, I don't even answer if I'm drinking because I'm like, make make more, just, and I'll just eat it the whole. What day. do you want? Yes. Yeah. All I just yes I do. Yeah. But usually I I, I go one and one, but I never only eat that. Yeah, I always, I always go more. Yeah. So if there's not left over, I'm, in, I'm gonna be. The trick, Joe. I might go two one like you. The trick is, I'm always anytime. I'm getting so pumped, man. I'm getting so excited. No, I don't know why. I love hot dogs so much, but my god, bro, because fucking dog, dude, dog it's dog sucking season, baby. Um, I like to, I like to sandwich my meal. I'm a little weird when it comes to eating. Like, if I have like a meal of like hypothetically, if it's like chicken, mac and cheese, and salad. I pick like what I want it, like what I'm the most excited for, and then I eat it last. 
Ooh, you like to like. But I also start it with a little bite to like remind myself like this is waiting for you at the end. Ooh, a little foreplay. So what I do? You're a slutty eater. I'm a whore. What I do is I start. If I go, if I go two dogs, one one cheeseburger. Start with a dog. Ooh. Cheeseburger in the middle. End, end with, with another dog. dog. Dude. Oh my god. And then if I want another dog, I just tack it on. That's, oh, yeah, that's yeah, plus that's tax. Right. Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. That's okay. a tip. It's insurance runs. Yeah, it's a, yeah, 100% insurance runs. <laughs> yeah, dude. And honestly, I may break my own record for hot dog eating. Do you want to you want to do a friendly competition this weekend who can eat the most hot dogs? Like in the whole weekend? Yeah. Okay, I can't eat them fast. Um, that I'm pathetic at. I I can I can just eat a lot. I'm a I'm a sprint. I'm 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 a marathon runner. I'm not a sprinter either. Right, right. I I like to take my time on a dog. Um <laughs> <laughs> you like to take your time sucking that dog down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, I do, oh, I do. Oh, man, this is going to be good. It is. This is going to be good. Would you ever get, like, those dogs, like, at, like, uh... Joe, like you ever put mac and cheese on a hot dog? Have you ever done that? No. Velveeta mac and cheese on a dog? I've went, I've had a hot dog before that they put, like, hot dog and then breadcrumbs and they baked it. I F- almost, Fuck you, dude. Yeah, no, I, legitimately, I wanted to, like... Cry? Yeah. I was, I was... A mess. I'm like, what is? That's good. It's man. so good. Oh, do it. We should do it. We'll and hot dogs are so versatile, dude. I chop them up, have them with my eggs, huevos con weenie. It's so fucking good. That's a good breakfast. What is it called? Huevos con weenie. Was it? Was it? What's a weenie? Weenie. No, not. I know what you're saying. That's what. That's what. But how do you say dick in Spanish? I forget. Like pin. Someone to pee. Uh, Pinga. Pinga. Oh, well, I think that's a word we just gave it. Oh, our, I don't know. We had a Portuguese friend in high school. <laughs> Do you remember that? Chica Pinga. You call, who did you call that? You don't remember? That? There was a bar that we would, we, he would, we had a friend in high school. Yeah. I'll give first name only, Manny. Cool. Oh, okay. Uh, and we would, we were at fucking 17 going to like a Portuguese bar because no one would ask us our age and we would get loaded. Fire. And we never knew the name of the bar, but we knew it as the Portuguese bar, so we just called it like Chicapinga. Racism. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's always. Fun. I think he called it that and he gave us the permission. Right, yeah. No. You know? Yeah. And then we were allowed to. Permissible racism. It was permissible racism. Which is just fun. I don't think you could be racist against Portuguese people. I think you could. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell me how. T- 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 teach me your ways. Um, <laughs> so, I don't know. Imp- oppress them. I don't know. Oh, oh yeah. Oppress, oppress a white, white middle Europeans. I'm sure that they're really like having a uh, joke. By yeah. The way. Okay. Well, yeah. I just said, we just said a hundred times that we were going to suck dogs. My dog's sitting right here. He's laying on all of the electricity. So if oh. one of these things go out, it's, it's a wrap. Or if he goes up in flames, also a wrap. Yeah, that would uh, be a that no. Be there, there, the, the 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 subtle racism against the Portuguese men and women. Right. Joke. The way that we're gonna attack dog sucking season. Oh my god. There's nothing joking about that. Yeah. It's a very serious topic. Yeah, I'm gonna attack some dogs. Very excited. <laughs> yeah. I'm and I I, I don't plan like I'll have a couple beers. I don't plan on getting like drunk drunk. Oh man, I do. Yeah, you're gonna be yeah. throwing them. You're gonna be throwing them Celsius back, huh? Yeah, that's probably why I'm gonna. Uh, also, I'm just gonna bring a lot of champagne, dude. Your champagne? Yeah. What gonna, are we celebrating? Nothing. We're just gonna have mimosas. You're mimosing it up on Memorial Day weekend, bro. There's gonna be sunlight. I'm drinking orange juice wow. with champagne. Wow. Wow. I didn't. Uh... I don't know. I didn't know that. I told Danny I would bring a bottle of champagne. Wow. I told him I'd bring a bottle of Ace of Spades. It, Jesus Christ. Have Lord. you ever had that? No. It just tastes like champagne. Yeah. But, but man, does it taste better than regular champagne. That's a cool because bottle. Because you paid for it. Yeah, that's a cool bottle. It's a cool bottle. It is a very cool bottle, but I guarantee. Remember remember the, when we were growing up, remember this? Uh, there was people in a story that had a party by the name of the Summer Sizzler? I do. Uh, do you remember what they would do with their vodka? Would it like pour it in like a watermelon or something? No, 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 no. So um, they would charge everyone $10 to get in. Very smart. Right. Um, but they kept this giant Grey Goose bottle and they just filled it. Like originally when they bought it, obviously, Grey Goose in it. Uh, and they would fill it with Georgie vodka and they would charge people like, yo, like Grey Goose is Grey Goose, $5 per shot. So it would cost them $10 to fill up the bottle. And they would charge five dollars a shot, and they would make like probably like two hundred dollars off the bottle. Let me tell you something about vodka. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I, I would. I was about to say I would give up sucking dogs for, for to not 
take a shot of vodka, but that's not true. But that's how much I hate vodka that I would be con- I would be willing to consider giving up hot dogs forever just to never do a shot of vodka again. I well, I, I would, shot of vodka is like the thing when you're in fucking middle school and it's like, what are you doing? A shot of vodka, you know, but Ew. I I, Bro, I just shoot tequila. I don't like vodka. The rest of it sucks. I don't like vodka. People like drink uh I remember when we were in uh or whiskey. Key West, someone kept getting vodka sodas. And I was like, yeah, what bro. are you doing? Like, that's not delicious in any capacity. When we went to Fire Island last summer, I, I made the mistake of, like, we went into one bar, and uh, there was just mad people, so it was crowded. And, like, Pete was, like, closest to the bar. And I was like, I was like, just get me whatever you're getting. What a fucking mistake. Because yeah, Pete he got- drinks, he'll be like, let me get your smokiest mezcal and fucking grapefruit juice. No. <laughs> I Pete, fucking wish, honestly. Pete, what are you doing? But he just gets like a, like tequila sodas. Yeah, I and had like, one of those. I, I I hate this. When we were in Key West, it was that's how I know we've made it and we've officially grown up. You don't have to be like, you know, like I'm gonna buy my own drinks. Like people just go like, what do you want? Like you bought rounds, I bought rounds, Pete bought rounds. Yeah. There was one time where Pete was like, you want a drink? And I was like, sure. Well, he's like, what do you want? I was like, I don't care. Just get me what you're getting. Same thing, tequila soda. Disgusting. 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 Because it's well tequila. And it's just bubbly water. I don't like it. It's not good, man. I just like, put something in here, dude. Uh, give me something, you know. Well, little... I would just rather drink fucking whiskey. If we're just going to have a fucking liquor here. Well, that's what I did at, uh, I went to a wedding recently. And it was uh, like, it was like an, at a venue, but like there was an outside catering company. So the bar was a little limited. So I was like, normally I go to an open bar. First drink I get. And I, was, I know I was just saying I hate vodka. I only like it in two situations. Oh, I know what you're going to say. And I like it too. Go ahead. First drink I get, extra dirty martini, extra olive juice. Never mind. <laughs> Fucking hate that. <laughs> yo, yo, that? Open bar. Literally? Yeah. Would rather drink gas. Yeah, well, you basically are, but I, I love olives. So that's anytime I go to an open bar and it's top shelf liquor, first thing I start with. My rule of an open bar, Frank's rule of an open bar, ladies and gentlemen, you start with one drink and then every drink you order has to be of a different spirit. So second drink will be a fucking gin and tonic. Third drink will be an old fashioned. Fourth drink will be gin a gin and fu- tonic. Yeah, gin's That's gin's good. The same thing. No, gin gin has a, a juniper berry flavor. Don't do this. But <laughs> I got there and they were like, oh, we can't. And I was like, all right, just literally just pour whiskey in a cup. And I got a, a full cup of just Jameson, bro. And I just drank that. When I went to Nashville, there's a bar over there called like Tootsie's or something. Yeah, something. What's it? It's something called I think it's called Tootsie's. Okay. But it was the first bar we went to. Apparently it's like the mo- it's like the oldest or like the whatever. And it's like it's a cool bar. It was packed. Dude, I get like an inch through the door. This place is packed. There's mad people in front of me. Definitely a lot of people between me and the bar. I get an inch in. The bartender, I guess, had already given everyone drinks. I was like, what do you want? I'm like, me? <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. six shots of Jameson. Ooh. Because I was like, let's take a shot. We j- had just gotten there. Yeah, get there. the night started. You know, yeah, you want to. We, we landed like fucking an hour and a half before. We got to the hotel, dropped our shit off, and went out. So I was like, let's start this night with a shot, like whatever. Bro, they gave us like plastic, clear oh, plastic remember, cups yeah. and just filled it like halfway. I was like, well, I'm not shooting this. This is psychotic. Mm-hmm. And some kid we were with just fucking. Oh, I thought you meant the little shot glasses. Fucking no, bro. They, like the big. Yes. Woo. Like water cooler, like those, like cu- like a fucking cup. Damn, that's a lot. Dude. I was like, Jesus, lady, you trying to kill me? Well, she probably was. She probably saw you, your mad happy sweatshirt, and said, "This guy's an easy target, easy mark," as yeah. they call him in the biz. Which biz is that? The biz. I I would say that yeah. My I am the only time I'll drink vodka is an extra dirty martini, or and I know you hate this one too, a good bloody mary, dude. Because that's what what bloodies are made with. Freak show of a drink. But dude, mimosas. This might that might be a move this weekend. Let's fucking. But you know, obviously, I don't. I I I don't plan. I got both kids, and if I fucking if I drink too much, I'll be miserable the day after, and then it'll just be. But but but. Here's here's one of the things about kids. Go ahead. They do go to sleep. They do go to sleep, but they also do wake up. They also got two parents. They yeah. Well, yes, but I. (laughs) The role in my house is I'm the morning guy. I'm the morning guy. Not on vacation. I'm making up rules. Yeah, I don't know. who. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what are you doing here? I don't know. I'm trying to just spin it. It's going to be good. We're going to wake up. I might, you know what? I might suck a dog down for breakfast. That's the other thing. Dogs, any meal of the day. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Go ahead. Recently, 
You know who's been on a, a, a breakfast dog sucking tear? Ryan Lynch. Greg. Oh. Oh, Greg's been sucking dogs down in the morning. He's been getting those Hebrew National kosher ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's getting <laughs> well. He's been getting these like organic ones. They're still hot dogs. They're probably a hot dog's a hot dog. I don't care what you call it. Yeah, like the dog like gets to walk around. Oh, cool. You get one from a local butcher. Guess what? It's a fucking hot dog. It's a hot dog, bro. There's still cigarettes in it or whatever the fuck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, they're killing us, but it's fine. Damn, morning dogs for Greg. Huh? Yeah, he yesterday we were in here and then he fucking was like, "Yo, you know what? After breakfast this morning," and I was like. What? And he's like, two hot dogs. And I was like, that's so... I was like, did you cut them up? And he was like, nah. I was like, damn, that's fucking Bro, you want to you be... You want, this is what I do sometimes for breakfast. Serious. And I got this from my dad. Chop up a hot... Thinly slice in a hot dog. Saute it. And then just throw the eggs in the pan. And scramble the eggs in, like, the hot dog. The eggs, like, bake the hot dogs in. And, oh, 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 oh. It's the best. <laughs> And you put that son of a bitch on a fucking on a, on two pieces of bread, a little ketchup. You got yourself a fucking breakfast of the gods. Yeah, dude. Now you're sucking dogs and chickens. I don't give a shit. I don't no, care. No, I'm saying I would rather. I mean, I'm down. Dogs, chickens, tomatoes. I'll I'll take tomatoes. them all. Tomatoes, ketchup. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forget that that's made out of. What a time. But yes, I am killing chickens. But I know we have a story to talk about where a chicken was killing somebody else. Wow, Frankie. <laughs> wow. That was unbelievable. Because we do have a story pulled up here about a cockfight, uh, which is can be confused with two men slapping their dicks against each other. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about animals now. Believe it or not. Before we were talking about food. Now we are talking about animals. Yeah, believe it or not, we're not talking about two men wagging their dicks in front of each other. Yes, they're not wagging them, seeing... Have you ever like, done that? Like, whacked my dick against another No, no, no. Like, like, been like, bro, show me yours, I'll show you mine. And like, you guys compare sizes. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, me neither. Good. I was about to. We didn't do that. I know. <laughs> no, I've I seen your. Think... I've seen your dick. I've seen your dick too. Yeah, it's not great. Mine, I mean. Oh, well, what were you saying? Mine is. It, it's it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's like it's yeah. it's a dick, dude. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. There's nothing I've seen. I if... say that all the time about my. I'm, I'm not. I, my dick's not. Gonna, no one's gonna be like, what the. <laughs> <laughs> but no one's gonna be like, there's no. Oh. I, I am like you. There's no reaction either way for mine. I'm, and I'm you're not so like cool whoa, and you're not like. <laughs> you're yeah. just like. That's, that's a, a that's a penis that's, right there. That's exactly what I expected. Why are we talking about this? I, I don't care. Oh, a cockfight. Yes, yes, cock yes, fight. yes. You yes. ever pee in a, a toilet bowl with like your brothers and stuff? Oh, I'm I'm pretty sure I have as a I've kid. I've done that mad times. Yeah. I remember we used to fight our streams. I've never co- I've piss streamed fought. I've never cocked. You fought, fought Keith stream. I've never cocked fought, but I fought. Uh, piss streams with my brothers. Keith, I would assume that Keith is a pretty. We happy, get happy. in there and we have we have our bladders are full and we're ready for a piss fight. Do you guys like schedule it or? No, no, no. We it just it's like an energy in the air, honestly. Gotcha. And then we get up there, we throw the fucking toilet seat up, and then we both start peeing real hard. It's just like the stars align, like that you don't. Oh, and then yeah, the streams yeah. start doing this, but then piss gets over your leg. I was gonna say that's gotta be like in Ghostbusters. They say don't cross the streams. You got some big thermal na- nuclear energy going on. Yeah, it's kind of like in Star Wars when like like when the fucking lightsabers hit each other. Really? Does yeah, it like piss goes Does like the inertia or like the force like make your dick like shoot to the right if you get like a healthy stream? Like if if like no it's like no, this, no no and you cross and it's like boom like no no does no. it cause your dick no, to like no, go? You, you stay in there? Oh, okay, I didn't know, bro. Water like heavy Dude, pressure. Dude, me and Keith water? used to piss and shit together. That's crazy. The shit thing is weird. You you yeah. express that that one I don't understand. We thought it was the funniest thing in the world. I'm glad someone did because guess what? No one else did. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the world did not. <laughs> <laughs> I think Esp- I, actually I want to take that back I think Espo and I used to poop together but like outside when we were babies we would like run around naked and like oh, oh, nope <laughs> what <laughs> yeah outdoors yeah as children yeah in this state no where in, in the state of Connecticut that's where we spent most of our time together okay but he lives in the same neighborhood as yeah, us. Yeah, we oddly enough, running until, around shitting like until children. we were like 15, 16, we never hung out in Astoria. Yeah. And only saw each other at the lake house. Lived 10 blocks away from each other. Yeah. Didn't see each other from September until fucking March. I still have a quick cue. Um, you were running around Naked. With, with Espo. Yes. Shitting on the f- on the earth. On the, well, in particular, it was a, it's a it's a well known story that we would shit on the deck. You, would, oh, so not the earth. Well, man made surface. Yes, 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 yes. Um, what, uh, how old? Young, like I was, you know, like two and a half, and he was like 
one and change or you, something. Your parents like that. were like, Ch- like we don't want to. I don't think my par- my parents were just like whatever. You know, I well, think I'm saying. Put I'm a sure they tried. That. I'm sure they tried to stop it. But also, when you're two. You get rid of a diaper pretty easy. It's not that hard. Baby, my, my one and a half year old daughter rips her diaper off sometimes. It happens. Damn, dude. She's shitting on your fucking kitchen. She's floor. not. Thank God she hasn't gotten there yet. I'll tell you right now, though, I'll be very upset. She gets big time timeouts. Big time timeouts? She'll be a big time timeouter if she gets a shit on me. How do you put your daughter in timeout? Uh, I say no. That'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I say she's a, and I'll tell her she's being a bad go ro girl. One more time. Sorry. I will tell her. Yeah. Ruby, no. You're right. You're being a big, bad go ro 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 Now, I got most of that, but okay. the last part felt like something I've never heard before. Can you say that part slow? I, it's you, something you find when you have kids. Like, when you, when you talk to Charlie, you sometimes come up with cute things to say and do, and you don't plan it. It's not like I'm thinking in my head, like, wow, I'm going to call my daughter a big timer when she's born. It right. just... I see her and I'm just like, this is a big time baby. Right. So she becomes a big timer. <laughs> this is a big time baby. You know, same thing. I don't look at her and go, what what cutesy nicknames can I have for her? They just come to me as I say them. And she's being a bad gorora. And she'll be big time, big time bad gorora. What are you doing with your face? <laughs> <laughs> big time bad gorora. Big, big. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, but, um, yeah. That's beautiful, man. Cockfighting. Cockfighting, yeah. Cockfighting. Well, the story, what was the story? So the story goes that uh, about a year and change ago, there was a gentleman, I believe in India, um, sorry, crisscross applesauce, and he... (laughs) (laughs) That was funny. And he uh, (laughs) was involved in an illegal cockfighting ring, and to give his... Cock, the upper hand. You always want your cock to have the upper hand. He had attached a knife to it, which is yo. I don't know the rules of cockfighting. Never been to a cockfight before, but I'm pretty sure attaching knives is super illegal. (laughs) Something doesn't seem right about that. That's that's cock steroids. I would I would yeah. That's like you know that's like battle bots. Like at that point, just like put them in full armor. (laughs) Why give them a knife if you're not just yeah? Attach a fucking nine millimeter to this thing. I'm sure you can find some chain mail that attaches to a cock. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and he he attached like a three inch blade to it, and he went to pick the, the the animal up, and it fluttered and stabbed him. Fire in the groin, in the cock. Yeah. Can't write this stuff, baby. God works in weird ways. Wait, so this cock stabbed him in his cock? Yeah, and he died. No, he didn't. Yeah, no, he didn't. Yes, he did, dude. He went. Bro, what a story that is to tell God. I don't mean to be insensitive to this individual who's died, although they were clearly a criminal, so all their rights are gone. Yeah, you can't fight Cox and then expect sympathy. At that point, if that happens to you. I get stabbed in the cock? You get stabbed in the cock. Wait, how do you get your cock? How do you die from cock? Bro, blood. Yeah. You bleed a lot. That's a very bloody area. You know, (laughs) there's a lot of, you know, capillaries and, you know. I don't believe this. Arteries. Cock fight. Stabbed. You want me to send knife. you the the link? Oh shit! He was killed. Oh, he put it on his foot. I mean, that's just a good strategy. <laughs> it is. It is. No, uh, is it? Because Outfitted with a three inch knife on its leg. Three inches, bro. <laughs> Trust me, I know three inches. <laughs> yeah, that's a huge knife. Dude, huge. A three inch blade. That'll get you. <laughs> Yeah, that'll do the job. That'll do the trick. It'll definitely like be enough. It's definitely enough to get it. You done. only need like a two-inch blade. Oh, the rooster repeatedly stabbed him in the groin. Yeah, because it was fluttering. But this is the thing: if you're gonna attach a knife to a chicken, get your cock out roosting, of the way. But not even that. Why not? It's wings. Roosters don't kick. They just walk and they kind of. Nah, bro. They fucking they kick when they fight. Do they? Yeah, they they try to kill the other fucking bird. I thought you were saying you never been to a cockfight. How do I mean, you know I've, this? I've read. You've seen. I've seen. You've seen cockfights. Even birds that win their matches off, often suffer injuries so severe that they too are killed. That's sad. Very sad. First of all, Peta, go after these people, dude. That's like the. But that's also like the ending of Gladiator. Spoiler alert. Damn. Well, you can't you can't give the ending and then say spoiler alert after. Ah, I'm just telling people I did spoil it. 
Oh, too late. Yeah, yeah If they haven't done. seen Gladiator, they now know that he dies because he gets a knife attached to his foot and ch- stabbed by a chicken. Yo, if you haven't seen Gladiator, one, not your friend. <laughs> two, you better go suck some dogs this weekend and make up for it. Yeah. And three, you don't need to see it now. I just told you how it ends. Yeah, the chicken gets him. This is chicken. It's the chicken that gets him. Um, I- but yeah, I can't believe this, this guy died. Could you imagine a worse way? Like, I would be, I'd tell my family, like, as I'm dying, like, like dying words, like, don't even do a funeral. Like, this is embarrassing. Don't let them report this. Yeah, don't. Yeah. <laughs> Just say, like, I got stabbed by, you know, a really noble, like, doing something really noble. Right. You know, like, saving my family from an, an armed burglar. Right. Not getting stabbed by a chicken. An armed bird. Yeah. Uh, also, in this thing, it says, uh, in the U.S., cockfighting is considered a felony in 42 states. What are the eight that... I'll tell you right now, one of them has got to be like Alabama, Florida. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In August of last year, the loss, the LA... Uh, oh, the, the LA Sheriff's Department busted a ring with more than 2,000 birds. I thought you were going to say 200. 2,000 birds, dude? That's so much fighting. Is there like money to be made in cockfighting? Oh, I'm sure that's just straight gambling. But like, why how do you, you know you, you got a good cock? Anything else, dude? But how do you know you got a good cock? Yeah, you know. I mean, you could probably tell from its curvature, its aggressive uh, aggression, like a big, like a big fat. Well, one? they give they give these damn things so many fucking steroids now, bro. You ever you seen a, you got a shop right or stop and shop? You seen a pack of chicken breasts nowadays? Of course, but how do you train a cock to kill? I think you. I think they're instinctually. Just want to kill everything. No, nah, bro. You bro. see, I see cocks on the fucking Discovery Channel, and they're just walking around fucking. No, chickens killing. are direct descendants of T Rexes. They got it in them. Bro, I don't even believe that. Look that shit up. Dinosaurs were birds, dude. They had feathers. Bro, bro, bro. First of all, raptors had feathers. Current chickens are close. They're like related to them. It's like they're you know like their third or fourth millionth removed cousin, but like. They still got that shit in their brain, dude. What? So explain this to me mm. about evolution. How do you go from big fucking T-Rex to little chicken? What, what would be the reason? I, through time, things happen, you know, where I, I, I can't sit here. I am no Charles Darwin, Joey. I'm not going to be able to walk you through also, how Also, you've ever seen there. Jurassic Park? I've seen it quite a bit. So, and then they have that fucking... <laughs> chickens. <laughs> how? 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 Look up. First of all, yeah, don't don't try to. Uh, Shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Look up, bro. The Jurassic Park dinosaurs not accurate. Since that has come out, we have understood. We've gotten the information and understand that they had feathers, dog. They had fucking wings, dude. Raptors had wings. Look that shit up. I'm fucking telling you. Raptors had wings. Raptors had wings. Raptors feathers is what I mean. Feathers. Oh with, my god. With with. with Feathers. With feathers. Raptors with feathers. That's more accurately uh, what fucking dinosaurs look like. Get the fuck out of here with Bro, this thing. Now look up. Chickens related to T-Rexes. They have it in their brain. Instinctually, they're murderers, dude. Just like house cats. There was a study that came out that said that house cats still have the fucking instincts to want to kill everyone. They're related to chickens and ostriches. Ostriches I get because those motherfuckers are weird. They're pretty big. And they got powerful legs, apparently. They look like little fucking skinny, bald-headed fucks. They're powerful. I don't know about this, though. You bro. don't need to know about it. It happened. I don't know, bro. But I, I don't, like, bro, if I'm going to run something illegal and try to make money off it, last thing I'm doing is the very loud and noisy and attention-seeking <laughs> game of chicken fighting. Yeah. Yeah. Dog fighting. You remember that sick son of a bitch? Dog fighting's fucked up. I would much rather watch chickens kill each other. Yeah, I mean, I hate most birds <laughs> as it is. <laughs> Let's get to these ads now. Oh, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you're having a hard time out there and you got a lot of stuff going on, you can get some help from BetterHelp. <laughs> uh, BetterHelp uh, is online counseling. So if you want to start some doing, uh, you want to start doing therapy, they will connect you with a therapist in under 48 hours. So it's a pretty quick turnaround. Um, so you can dip your foot in the water as soon as you want to, uh, dip your toe in the water, I should say. Uh, but yeah, they have licensed therapists from all over the country and, uh, you can talk, text, video chat, or whatever you want. So you don't have to like sit in person if you find that to be like pretty intimidating or whatever. Uh, so you can, you can, 
connect in, in various ways. Uh, also, they make it very seamless to switch from therapist to therapist so that you can find the right fit for yourself. Um, and the best part about it is that it's way more affordable than in-person therapy, which can be hundreds of dollars every single session. Um, but it's also uh, even more affordable for the listeners of The Basement Yard because you will get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash The Basement Yard. Uh, sorry, slash Basement Yard. Uh, that is betterhelp.com slash basement yard you will get 10 percent off your first month spelled b-e-t-t-e-r-h-e-l-p.com slash basement yard uh so go check them out if you want to get into therapy uh and another sponsor that we have today is stamps.com which uh brings you all the amazing services of the post office right to your home computer you can buy and print u.s uh postage um, all you need is a printer, obviously, um, and you will save the time. You don't have to drive to the post office or if there's a long line or something like that. You don't have to wait in it. Uh, so you're saving time. And on top of that, you're also saving money. Uh, discounts that you can't get anywhere else in the world, like up to 30% off USPS rates and up to 86% off of UPS rates. So saving time, saving money just makes a whole lot of sense. No long-term commitments or anything like that. Uh, and right now you can sign up with the promo code basement for a special offer that includes a four week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long term commitments. Like I said, uh, just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and em- enter the code basement. Uh, again, uh, stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and enter the code basement. All right. So there you go. <sighs> now we're back to Gox. Well, we're always back to Cox. And another place where people can talk, you know. Charlie, we're doing a show, but. Another place where people can watch us talk about Cox, Patreon. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Uh, we like to tell people about Patreon all the time. And uh, we're currently in, like number 23 or something like that. We 23 wanna, or 22 in the world. We want to get in that top 10 boy. And Joey's going to be doing something next. Uh, I did the, the waxing of my bunge. Yes, your frump. My frump. And my unge. Yeah, and your burlap sack. It, it, let me tell you, it was a, it was torn to shreds. Yeah. Uh, it was very uncomfortable. Pretty much back to normal now. Sweet. But it was ve- when it, everything was coming back in, it was really, really uncomfortable. I can imagine. But if you guys don't know what we're talking about or if you haven't seen it, join Patreon. Guess what? That first tier, you get these weekly episodes a week in advance. So those times you go and look at the episode on Monday morning and you say, what the hell? Six days ago, someone commented, guess what? You get access to that if you join that first tier on the Patreon. That next tier, well, that's where the goodness comes, all right? Uh, Every Friday morning, you get exclusive episodes that are a little out of control, a little off the beaten path, some may say. Uh, And you get to start and end your week with the basement yard and double and 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 every other episode that has ever been put on there, you get access to. So if you're like, oh my God, I only I have to wait until next week. No, 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 no. Go back to two years ago, a year and a half ago, three weeks ago, you get it. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. We're continuing to break records. We keep doing it. Joey's going to do something stupid, funny, dangerous, gross. We, we're not sure yet, but go check it out. Yeah, we're going to figure it out. This is a lot. We have big plans. That's all I'm We do say. have big plans. Uh, also, I wanted to say something because we had talked about a story that happened and then it reminded me because you said that you like to shit outside. Holy shit. Oh my God, Keith just scared the we fucking shit stop, out of me, dude. We need to stop, stop not locking the door. Why? Keith you know what you're scared of, you son of a bitch. What do you got? Keith's in here. You got food? Oh, I gave you the middle finger. Why is he wearing scrubs? How did this still like what is this? I think I saw yeah, hold something. On. Can I ask you a question? Because yeah, go ahead. You can ask me whatever you would this like. This is funny. You're my best friend. Okay. I <laughs> you're my best friend. When you do what you just drank that with your teeth. What the fuck was that? You, <laughs> you just chew Coca-Cola? Did you just chew Coca-Cola? Because I saw you go. What the fuck was that? Is that junky? Sometimes I have a bit of an exaggerated slurp. I got it. Um, take that eja- ejaculate. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know something I don't? What do you put in this coke? I was going to say, bring that uh, exaggerated slurp to dog sucking season dog this sucking weekend. Season. Um, but you remember when you were younger and like obviously we knew what the middle finger was. Yeah. Have you ever heard this rumor? Because, yes, this was the Chinese middle finger. Yeah. I heard that, yeah. Is that true? I don't fucking know, but We're guess what? We're about to find the fuck out. I'll, I mean, I know that there's things in other, like, I've read before on Twitter, which makes it real, is that there are things that we do in the U.S. that are, like, just, like, violently offensive elsewhere. And this? Like, and, like, I don't know about that, but, like, there's other ones where it's, like, I think I remember reading once or learning once that, like, people that are just, like, okay, 
that's like white a, power. That's a, a white power. Yeah, white uh, power. White power. Uh, and like, it's also like offensive elsewhere for other things. It it just is like super offensive. This like a okay. Throw it up higher. <laughs> and over your heart. <laughs> <laughs> um, in Chinese culture, at least in Hong Kong. Balling a fist and sticking up the pinky indicates it's useless or it's the worst. While Damn, sticking that's the disrespectful thumb to pinkies. indicates the best and it's number one. These gestures were derived symbolically from the thumb being the first finger and the pinky being the last finger. Hello? <laughs> um, I did it by accident, but I guess. Yeah, so it's the opposite of the thumb. Like, cool? Fuck you. Oh, like two thumbs way up. In China, it's like two pinkies way down. Yeah, but if it's like... So, so, then it's middle finger, though? Because if we're going by, like, middle, like... So, this is the story that I had been told, was that the middle finger was a... Uh, it was, like, used by Native Americans, and a, a, allegedly... This is the story I was told. Allegedly, Native Americans were so skilled with bow and arrows, and when they would pull the string back, they would use their middle finger. So, when they would be captured by, you know... The people colonizing the United States. Whites, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> they would cut off their middle fingers. So, so they couldn't like, shoot. So they couldn't shoot. So as a sign of being like antagonistic, they would be like, guess what? what look what we got. Is that true? That's what I've heard. Wow. I, I mean. I like that. You got the Google machine. Oh, I'm not going to look that up. That, that sounds amazing. Take it for what it is. That sounds fucking right. I think that sounds pretty cool. As, like that makes, if it's against white, white people, love it. Right. <laughs> I'm all about it, dude. There's a white guy watching this going, I don't know about Frank. Yeah. If, it's oh, okay. Classic racist against whites. Yeah. Well, well, it is a comedy show, guys. Can't, and also, not a thing. Yeah. <laughs> you can't be racist against white people. Oh, now you just open up a can of worms. Oh, well, yeah, whatever. I mean, you could be insensitive. And, can of worms. I hate that shit. Yeah, where did that term come from, I don't too? Know, bro. It was like, who actually opened up a can of worms? And they were just like, oh, my God, you douchebag. <laughs> well, now you've done it. <laughs> Now you've done it. Now we've got a bunch of problems. Oh my god, no. There's just a can of earthworms. And w the day's ruined, guys. I feel like I used to play with worms a lot when I was a kid. You ever eat a worm or a bug or anything? Me eat a bug? Oh, no. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I ate a caterpillar. Like a big, juicy, hairy motherfucker. Like Pumbaa? Yeah. Bro, you're going to tell me Pumbaa and Timon didn't make those fucking... <laughs> Those bugs look delicious. Those bugs and uh, I was gonna say a lion's life. The fuck is wrong with me? And and the Lion King. I was like a bug's life and Lion King. Uh, yeah, they looked amazing. Like at one point, he just picks up this plate of bugs and, and he, like, he, he takes up a, a beetle off of it and just cracks it. And I was like, damn, dude, that did look delicious. It did look good. Um, um, yeah, I'm not fucking with no fucking beetles, bro. Uh, what was the other thing you asked me? If I ate a worm? Nah, yeah. Hell no. I, I, it's just a worm. It's in the dirt. I don't know. I mean, clean it off, dude. You want me to take a worm out yeah. of the dirt yeah. and then go clean it and then eat it? I mean, yeah. Or I could just have food, though. <laughs> dog sucking season. Yeah, I could have a fucking dog. Would you put it if 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 I gave you a hot dog, and I said there there is a worm inside this hot dog? Are you eating it still? It depends how far I am from civilization. Because if there are no other hot dogs I could get to, then I'll eat it. I'll say. All of these dogs have a single worm in them. <laughs> From now on in life? No, just just this weekend. Oh, and dang. you can't go. You're you can't go get nah, any more. Fuck that, bro! I'm drowning that bitch in like if there's chili on it, definitely eating that shit. Yeah, you heat it up so it kills a worm inside. I'm not worried about it being alive. Oh, okay. I'm worried about like ew. But like if there's like chili on it and shit, you would never know. I know I wouldn't. So what's but if it was issue? just like a raw dog. Raw dog. You raw dog in it this weekend too? I don't think I would ever raw dog a hot dog. You would do that? I would never raw they dog. They come cooked. You just No, I'm talking about just like no topping. Oh. That's kind no. of crazy, right? No, but I did grow up in a household where we would often have hot dogs, boiled hot dogs for dinner, and we wouldn't always have buns. So we would just wrap them in bread. Bread. Yeah, I would do that too. Yeah. Um not as good. My dad used to do this trick when we were younger where he'd be like Especially in the summer when it was dog sucking season. He'd Where he'd like, say, like, I love you, and then not. Yeah, yeah, he would do the same. <laughs> yeah, my, dad did, my dad did that same trick. <laughs> Are we? Bru um, no, but he would say, he'd be like, hey, you want a hot dog? 
And I go, yeah, fuck, I'm down. He goes, all right, make me one too. And I was like, yeah, I, I don't want it now. Like, Smart boy. Smart yeah, man. He, he was corny. My, my buddy Sly did that once. We were at, uh, we were like hanging out in college and someone was like, um, he goes, oh my God, are you, are you going to get McDonald's? And we were like, no, but I, I guess I'll, I'll go now. And he's like, all right, can you get me? And we were like, what the fuck, man? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's just smart. He was like, oh, and then we were like, so you want us to go to McDonald's and get you food? And he's like, well, if you're offering. And it's like, you just brought up the whole situation. Yeah, so you just you did this. Yeah. Another good trick is if you're eating something and I, and I want it, and you go, are you going to eat that? And put your finger, finger in it. Finger in it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to eat this? And you're like, well, fucking now I'm not. My dad used to tell me this story that he would work on a construction site with my uncle, Uncle Tio. Uncle, uncle. Uncle, uncle. And apparently he was such a fucking germaphobe that he would like scrub clean this like reusable cup and like get water from the water filter and stuff like that. And my dad said that like he would scrub this cup clean, give it to my dad. And my dad would be like, all right. And he'd be like, can you fill it up with water? And he'd go like, all right. My dad would fill it up with water and then he'd hand it back to him with his finger in it like this. It's amazing. And it's fucking genius. Oh, my dad. Want, so this is a good story too. It's, it's similar to that where my dad and I think it was my uncle – it was like they. It was just when like Thomas is. My brother's eight years older than me, but like he when he was like twenty two or something. Like when you're in like prime like beer pong age, you know what I mean. So like eighteen S- to 22. sixteen for me. Yeah, uh. <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, they may have been like fucking twenty years old or something. But they they, they were playing beer pong uh, at their house, and he would, he would just stand there, and and they and he's like, "What are these cups? The water cups." Cause like, oh, it's the floor, you know, you clean it yeah, off or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, smart. Telling my dad that was the worst idea. Just drink the beer. No, because the, cause they would have beers in the in the cups. So my dad would take the, would, would get the ball. And he's like, yeah, you got to clean it off. He, he'd clean it off and then throw it in his mouth and shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> or he's like, he'd take it and he just wipe his ass with and shoot it. He's like, you drink the cup, you pussy. Well, do you remember what we would do at the lake house when we would play chandelier? We would play chandelier with like, so chandelier is, is like a combination of beer pong and flip cup. There are um, just cups. Around. Whoever's playing, there are cups in a circle, and you have your own cup. You fill it with, you know, this much beer or whatever your seltzer or whatever. And in the middle, there's an upside down cup and then a cup on top. I don't know why I use my whole yeah. arm. Yeah, fist it. <laughs> and a cup on top. And normally, you're supposed to fill the cup on top with beer. To the and brim. Then, yeah. And then whoever, like, you bounce the ball, it goes in there, everyone drinks, does flip cup. Whoever's the last to do it has to drink the top cup. Our friends would always drink different stuff. One person was drinking Bud Light. <laughs> another person was drinking Coors Light, Miller Light, Corona, Heart Seltzers. Yeah. So whatever we were drinking, we would put in the middle <laughs> cup. So that middle cup was a concoction of the grossest shit. And then we would always say, like, yo, you don't want the middle cup. Finger the cup. And all of us would just shove our fingers in that top Wait, cup. Wait, what? You don't remember this? Why would we finger the cup? Because it's like you don't want to drink it, so it's like. Uh, How does that make sense? Because whoever drinks it then has to drink the gross concoction with all of our fingers in it. <laughs> you don't remember that? I don't remember fingering cup. Yeah, we would say finger your cup because you would finger your cup to show which one was yours, and oh. then everyone would start fingering the top cup when there was all that <laughs> shit in it. You'd be like. Bleh. You'd always have like fucking like someone stupid would just be like oh. Probably you. Nah, most likely. Ma. Most likely. <laughs> um, we had stuff we were talking about. I don't know. Um, but you know what? I have to get to these ads. Again? Jesus yeah, Christ. I, well, I just, I just do. And I know you did that, but whatever. But listen, guys, keep your home safe with Simply Safe. Uh, Frank's got Simply Safe. It's easy to set up. And also, just to give you a little background on how this thing works, there's a story here that they have. There was a guy named Joshua. Uh, he fell asleep with pizza rolls still in the oven. I'm going to guess that Joshua may have been a little bit of inebriated here uh, because we've all done this, right? Come home, a little hungry, try to make something, forget about it, go to sleep. Unfortunately for him, they caught fire. Could have been disastrous. Fire started, um, smoke detectors went off, uh, and um, the alarm went off, and then he got so he was able to get out, thank God, because it sounds the alarm and you get the fuck out of there. Um, and then... Uh, they got a, he got a call from Simply Safe Professional Monitoring. The Peace Rolls didn't make it, but Joshua did. So he saved his life. And they were call, they're calling you as soon as something is happening, letting you know, like, bro, you good? To check on you, send the right people to your house and shit like that. So it's good. Uh, sometimes you, most of the time, I think you have your guard down. You're not expecting these things to happen. But when they do, it's nice to be, 
you know, to have insurance to know that you're going to be safe. Um, so go get Simply Safe. Uh, 24 7 professional monitoring you'll always have someone looking out for you plans cost just under one dollar a day with no long-term contracts at all you can customize the perfect system for your home in just a few minutes at simplysafe.com slash basement go today and claim a free indoor security camera plus 20 percent off with the interactive monitoring uh, go to simplysafe.com slash basement spelled s-i-m-p-l-i-s-a-f-e dot com slash basement uh, and lastly here, we have a, a, a new one, Hydro Jug, which I am like a big fan of. I got it in the mail. I was like, Hydro Jug, what is this? Open it up. It's this big jug that you can put in. I believe the one that I have is 64 ounces. This thing is like you could shoot a bullet at it. That's I don't know how true that is. I really think you can't do that. I don't know why I said yeah, that. Yeah, probably but shouldn't do it. I will tell you this. I did put it in my trunk because I was moving a bunch of stuff, and then I opened my trunk and it fell out, hit the ground. Fucking any other thermos or anything that I had would have been destroyed. But this thing is like pretty much indestructible, with the exception of missiles and bullets or something. Um, but it's great. It, it keeps your drink cool, um, and uh, the I, I really like the cap because you there's like a little hook on it to carry it around. And um, yeah, I like having a big jug like that. I don't like drinking water especially out of like little cups because i feel like i gotta keep refilling the cup so to have a big jug like that that keeps everything cool uh it's amazing so i, I like it and also there's a straw that you can have you can detach it and just like pour the water out of it or you can keep a straw in there and you just kind of like use it like a fucking straw um and i like that honestly i don't know why i think that i drink water a lot more i drink more water when i'm drinking it through a straw i don't even know if that's true but it's just something that i feel um, but it's great. I suggest everyone get one. Stay hydrated out there. This is how I'm staying hydrated. I fill it up in the morning. I try to drink at least one a day. I usually do, but then I fill it up again and try to, you know, I'm pissing like crazy people. Um, but go get yourself a hydro jug. Go to uh, thehydrojug.com. Use the discount code BASEMENT to get 10% off of your order today. Uh, they're game changers for anyone who's on the go. All right. So it's a good one to take hiking too because you bang it against some rocks or whatever the hell. Things going to hold up and keep all your stuff cold. Again, go to thehydrojug.com, uh, 10% off when you use the code BASEMENT. All right. There we go. Finally got a sponsor with the word jugs in it. I know how pumped you've been about that. Yeah, big jug guy. Um, <laughs> and I tried to say this before, but naturally we just got off track. Mm -hmm. But there was a story recently that kind of furthers a theory that I had a while ago. Okay. Because you were talking about how you and Aspo used to shit on the ground. Yes, we did. And you would ruin people's times and stuff like that. Uh, we were too. People were more amused by it than de devastated. People hated it and they hated you when you were younger. That's not wrong. Um, yeah, no, they hated you. You're, they were disgusted by you okay. and all your poop. Stop. Um, so, similar story, but a woman was caught. She was the pooper trader, <gasps> which is a fun way of saying perpetrator but she shit on the floor yeah uh in a salon i believe it was right okay and uh apparently destroyed like eight wigs stop mm -hmm. okay hold on besides my my self-esteem i don't think i've ever used the bathroom and destroyed anything how in god's name does someone <laughs> I assume this woman shit on the floor yes she shit on the floor Did how do you destroy wigs I don't know, but to me it sounds like maybe some women slipped and fell in this shit. And they, what, were carrying a fucking torches with an open flame on it and just, like, took out some wigs while they were on the way down? Dude, you don't get shit on a wig and then wash it and keep it. I mean, but why, if it's on the floor, Frankie, why are the... Frankie, you get shit on anything. Did she cover it with wigs? I don't know. Did oh. she wipe, did she wipe her bub? With the wigs? With wigs? I would do that. It's horse hair. Why would you wipe your ass with horse hair? It's... It's, why would you shit in a fucking beauty store? People are acting irrationally have as to, it is, to, Joey. Have to. Maybe have to. Bro, you, every or was place... it a protest? I don't think... What do you... I don't know. Maybe she was overcharged and she was like, well, I'm not going to stand for this. Shit right on the ground. Wow. That would actually be pretty... Like, honestly, if I if a woman was like, I'm so mad. If you don't make this right, I'm going to poop in your store. I'd be like, you can own my store for all I care. Yeah. Well, that's Amber, Amber Heard took your advice there because she definitely shit on Johnny Depp. Jesus. Depp's yeah. I've heard, I yeah. remember we talked about that. Yes. The Amber Turd. People Amber, are saying. People have been uh, calling her Amber Turd. I, it's a good nickname. Just a good nickname. Well, just like the Poopa Trader. Yeah. And allegedly she shit. We don't know if it's her shit. I got to say, I'm glad that they finally caught one. 
because this is a this is apparently a thing. Women are just shitting all over the place. Bro, I said this. I said I think when it comes to shitting on the floor, women take that they hold the belt. Like they take that that category. I'm starting to in my head begin to realize that women are just like grosser than men in terms of like pooping in the world. Like a man will just shit his pants and just walk with it. <laughs> Like women are just like no no no. This needs to get out of here. This needs. I need to get rid. You of You know it. why they care more about their pants? I, I don't. I have no attachment to my pants. Yeah. I, if I, I shit in them, I'm throwing them out. I'm not gonna wash it. Yeah. Yeah. I know, Joey. You once threw out your fucking all of your silverware because you left it in the dishwasher for a weekend. Instead of guess what? It was literally where it needed to be to get cleaned again, and you took it and threw it out. <laughs> I have a thing about like. Mold and, and like bacteria. I just think, yeah, that, and I, manual labor. Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> Maybe. Um, but no, I, I, yeah, I have to, I have to throw that stuff out. Yeah. I mean, whatever. I'll, I'll never get over that, but we'll never get into an agreement on that. But this, I'm glad they finally, they finally caught her. Yeah. Yeah. I think that, that women need to realize that they are the shitters. Have you ever been in a store? Men piss. Men piss everywhere. Men piss everywhere. And they definitely piss more per capita than women shit. All right. So here's, so here's the breakdown. <laughs> Men piss more. Yeah. Yeah. Way because more. it, it, it hangs. So gravity pulls it out naturally. Well, we're spoiled brats. We think that like just because we can we can aim this that we could just put it anywhere. It's okay. I could pee right here. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Women, it's a whole thing. You gotta you gotta be flexible at the hips. You gotta get down there and like in a catcher's position. Yep. And, you know, piss behind a fucking a dumpster at a club. Yes, exactly. Yes. Um, I can say I believe though women piss stronger. Like men piss longer and more, but women pee streams are like hard, dude. I remember in high school. Would you classify it as a stream or just kind of like an like a oh, like a like, like imagine like the le like the levee breaks and just like everything is coming through. Yeah. You know, where men it's more like a guided like Suez Canal. You know, like the water comes through and like it's like I know what I'm doing. Like th this is where it goes. Right. Remember yeah. when I was in high school. At a party, and there were girls like pissing in like the back alleyway or something like that. I remember I heard them peeing once, and I was like, "That sounded like a pressure washer." Really? They could have taken the grout off of the tiles. You know what I'm saying? Also, oh, like a drunk girl pisses like a maniac. Yeah. Well, remember that that story about the the woman who, at the concert who pissed in that guy's face? The performer, yes. Yeah, that was like uh, that. Honestly, that was the first time that I was like, "Yo, I I never really realized how much." A woman could hold in her. Well, yeah, but women have. That to, was an insane amount of piss. Women have to, a lot to carry, uh, and piss is one of them. Bigger bladders. Uh, bigger bladders. Uh, you know, we can we can go on and on. Yeah, yeah. But apparently, smaller butts. Apparently, holes. smaller buttholes. I can't confirm. I really can't. I don't know if that's true. Never mind. Um, they can hold shit as well as they can piss. Clearly not. Well, actually, I think they're making just like a, a, a like a decision. To be like, I'm not going to risk throwing out these pants, so I'm just going to shit in aisle three. See, I would be the type of person that, like, I would make it very clear. Like, I'd be like, can I use your bathroom? And if the people are like, no, I'll be like, this is, like, an yeah. emergency. I'm not asking for my benefit. I'm asking for yours. Right. And then I would, you know, I've done that before in the past where I've had to use the bathroom so bad. I've been like, can I use the bathroom? They're like, no, sorry. And I'm like, this isn't a negotiation. Yeah, no. You know, I'll hold this place hostage. Th I, 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 that's how I felt. Like, yeah. call call the fucking NYPD. I'll go to jail for this. Yeah, yeah. When when I have to shit, I have cold sweats. Like, I don't look good. I don't think I've ever had cold sweats, bro. I've had them. Hard. That sounds awful, dude. It's not good because it's it's just panic. It's pure anxiety, and it has nothing to do with the poop. It's more so me realizing like it's over, and <laughs> it's it's going to end terribly if you don't. You know, and, and every single time I go into a store and ask someone, can I use your bathroom? It's a Hail Mary. Because they go, we don't have a bathroom. And I go, I know you have a bathroom because you, how you do you, have to. How do you exist without one? Yeah. How would you wash your hands? Yeah. No. It, if I shit on your hands right now, what would you do? You would have to go to your bathroom. I wonder, like, if you can get in legal trouble for that. Like, if you have a bathroom and you don't allow it access to someone that has an emergency and they have an oopsie because of it like who's like are they gonna get in trouble or is it like bro I, I asked them kindly and they didn't let me so like I physically couldn't figure it out I don't know man uh, I, would you rather throw up or shit your pants throw up way more without a doubt dude yeah that's the worst feeling in the world I think I've to my knowledge I haven't shit my pants since I was like four 
You, what was the to my knowledge thing? <laughs> Unless I was, uh, I don't. I'm just saying, like, to, as you far as I know. You take off your pants and don't look at them. You're like, I'll just. Well, no, I think I would remember something like that. Trust me, that would be traumatizing to the point that I would remember it. Yeah. But you, like, <laughs> don't. What were you gonna say? <laughs> you shit your pants all the time, don't you? Dare. No, you don't. You don't. You don't. No, I haven't shit my pants since that day getting where you, home from Davino's. Yeah, where you kicked it. I did, and I had to throw out my sneakers too because they had this really cool design where it looked like, uh, like it, they were not that they were porous, but like it looked like circles, but then there was like a silver thing, but it was like a circle, like an indent, and shit got in that, and I was like, I can't. I tried to clean it out, but it's like you're pushing it further into these circles, and I was like, these it's, are garbage. It's garbage now. Yeah. yeah so I was playing basketballs. Uh, yeah. Basketballs. I was playing basketball in like fucking. Should have let me know. I would have gave you my Timberland sneakers. That would have helped. That's probably what I was playing in. I, I remember when I grow, when I was growing up, I had one pair of shoes. I had dress shoes that I would wear for like parties and stuff. Like we would go to a wedding or whatever. And then I had sneakers, one pair of sneakers. That's yeah, it. I didn't. And it, yeah, I was the same way. I didn't have many shoes. Like these people that I knew in like middle school that were like sneaker heads. I was like, I like what, seven where the fuck? pairs of shoes. Yeah. I literally had one. Yeah, I had one. I wore the same sh- shoes to school every single day. The same shoes that I played basketball. In. I'll tell you this: the only time it changed when I started working and I was able, to, like, I bought. Um, my dad bought me a pair of Timberlands, so I had two pairs of shoes. And then I started working at Elm Jack, and I bought myself two, three pairs of shoes. But this is back when a you pair of vapes, shoes. Didn't you? I bought ice creams. Ice creams. That's what it was. But that was like later on. That was like toward like the end of high school, or no, that was like 2007. So that was the beginning of high school. I had orange, fucking. I had orange, gray, and yellow ice creams. I remember that. I had uh, I had the the, the orange eights, which are now like four hundred fifty dollars. I bought I them. I think for I like, remember you having those too. I bought them for like hundred twenty bucks. I had like, um, and I still actually have them and still wear them because they still fit. Um, brown, like brown Nikes, the ones I threw up at on, uh, threw up on on at Impies. Ah, yes, of still have those. And then I had like Air Maxes, but again, I bought those because I was working, and I was also using my money to buy fucking, you know, like Elmo graphic tees. <laughs> so you know, stupid shit and fitteds. <laughs> Elmo graphic tees and Rocco's pizza. That's two dollars for a slice, pepperoni slice and a soda. The slice is like four bucks now. Crazy, it's ridiculous, dude. Inflation, man. The world. Um, the only other pair of Jordans I ever had were the Jordan 14s. The they were white and they had like the red sort of trim. Uh, and my dad bought them for me because they were basketball shoes, and he was the coach of my travel basketball team at the time. That's right. I remember that. And I didn't wear them to a game after he bought them for me because I was like, bro. I'm it needs to be fresh yeah in not middle to, school you wanted to be ph fresh not, yeah not you know playing basketball in them no i didn't want to crease them well so i i didn't wear them and he's like where's your shoes i bought i spent 150 dollars on those shoes where are they i was like oh i don't want to mess them up <laughs> and he's like that, mu- that must have been like you telling your dad like you hated your grandmother or something no he was just like you're gonna wear them to play basketball or i'm going to take them and cut them in half wow yeah my the only pair of Jordans I ever owned, um, those shoes are not comfortable to play basketball in. Orange the the orange eights, as I said, I wore them the first day I wore them. I remember the outfit and everything. I had gray jeans, those shoes, and I had a black F Train shirt. Do you remember those shirts? F Train. It was the F Train. Oh, it was yes. the, the orange logo with the big F, and it said from I think it was like from like uh, Brooklyn to Queens or something like that. Right. And I wore it. And I was sitting with my shoes out like a dumb idiot, man spreading, in math class. And my math teacher, this giant ass German dude, was like, he like walked by and I did like one of these where I pulled my feet in. And he was like, what was that? I was like, oh, I got these new shoes. I don't want anyone to step on them. And he's like, let me see. And I put them out and he fucking boom. Yeah, dude. And a big black mark right across the fucking shoe. It was ruined. Why would he do that? Because he was a like... I, I'm not going to speak bad about him because he was actually a really good guy. But, like, he was like a shit starter. He was just like, oh, you want you don't want anyone stepping on those shoes? Let me see them. I'm going to do it. Bro, I, that really would have pissed me off. I couldn't have done anything, dude. He was like 666. Oh, I mean, <laughs> he was the devil. <laughs> <laughs> he was 666. I mean, 66, like, tall. <laughs> I don't know what I had. 
I couldn't do anything. It was 911. I don't know why. 666. Yeah. Did I ever tell you about this story? I, I, this is just a really brief one to end on because I know we're trying to wrap up. Yeah. I was a couple years ago. I was uh, I, I had to like call like a mechanic shop to like get my car worked on, and the guy picked up. He's like, "Yeah, what's up, babe?" Because I I talk, and I was like, "Yeah, I gotta bring my car." And he's like, "All right, what time do you think you're gonna bring your car?" And I was like, "Uh, I don't know. What time's a good time?" He goes, "Well, what time is it now?" And I look at my phone and I go, "Uh, oh, great, nine 11 And I was like, oh. <laughs> "It's nine eleven." And Becca looked at. We started dying laughing, and and he was like. Okay, like he didn't. It didn't even fucking work. It, it didn't even register yeah, yeah, for yeah. him. And, I uh, saw actually. I saw a TikTok the other day, and I was fucking dying. It was like this kid. It's like this like attractive dude at the gym. He's got his headphones on, and like the caption that's like written on the thing says like, "Is there anything worse than like when your headphones die mid set at the gym?" And it's like this music playing. And he's like, you know, whatever. And it's like, oh man, what the hell? And then it cuts to this woman in her bed, and she's like, September eleventh, <laughs> two thousand one. Good luck with their headphones, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was dying. There was a, there was an episode of Family Guy where I think uh, Lois is like running for mayor or something like that, and her whole speech, like she's given like a legitimate speech about like you know like uh, how to address drugs and like children, you know, poverty and blah blah blah. And no one's like reacting, and she says nine eleven, and they start cheering, and she goes nine eleven, and they start cheering again, and then she goes nine, and the crowd goes, <gasps> she goes eleven, and the place fucking erupts. <laughs> It's, it's, you know, comedy. Uh, but yeah, Frank, where can they find you, bud? You find me dog sucking season going to town Big on time. a couple of fucking Nathans, Oof. Hebrew National, yep. Ballpark Franks, Thumans, Footlongs. Oh, forget. Oh, bro, you think Stop and Shop's got footies? I don't. I don't know. But either way, I'm gonna be. I'm. I'm gonna be having a good old summer. Because a footy. Summer is no longer the name of this season. It's I'll dog, suck a foot, dude. It's dog sucking country. This is. This is dog sucking season. This is dog sucking country too. But F Alvarez eighty eighty five on Twitter. The Frank Alvarez on Instagram. And then go check out the Patreon. As I said earlier, patreon.com slash the basement yard. We're breaking records. We want to keep breaking records. We love you guys. Thank you for all the support. But. Tell your friends. It's also a nice gift to give for dog sucking season. It is dog sucking season. This is dog sucking country. And if you don't like it, fucking figure it out and suck some dogs. Guys, go follow the show at the basement yard on TikTok and Instagram. And that is all. See you guys next time. Mm.